Have you ever wondered what it's like being a PhD student or are you considering doing a PhD program? I've been a physics PhD student for two and a half years and I wanted to discuss my experience as a PhD student. Typically in the first year of a PhD program, you take classes that teaches you the fundamentals of your field of study. Typically during the first year, the student is a TA or teaching assistant where they teach lab sessions and grade homeworks for professors in the department. And sometime in the first or second year of the program, one chooses a thesis advisor who acts as a mentor and guide for the student through the PhD program as the student progresses from a new grad student to an independent researcher in the field. The research advisor guides the student through the PhD program and their development as a researcher in the field of study. Throughout grad school, the student is typically immersed in their research area and they learn about what it's like to research in the area through attending conferences, attending colloquia in their physics department and neighboring physics departments, and through reading and writing papers related to their field of study. Doing a PhD is a challenging but oftentimes rewarding thing. The time commitment is very high. Through doing the research, you learn how to analyze problems and find solution and implement the solutions to the problems, which is a very valuable skill. You might ask, why am I doing a PhD? I decided to do a PhD in physics. Number one, because I love physics. Number two, I enjoy finding solutions to hard problems in an academic setting. Also, because I want to advance science and technology. What should a person ask themselves before committing to a PhD? PhD. Number one, you really need to be okay committing five plus years of your life to pursuing a PhD because it oftentimes takes that long. Number two, you need to be okay working with a minimal salary. Typically, a TA and RA salary provides enough to live comfortably, but not a lot beyond that. And also, you should ask yourself what you want to do long term, and can you do that without a PhD? Because PhD is truly a large commitment. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more videos, please consider liking and or subscribing. Thank you. Have a nice day.